The following opinions are solely those of BoatTest.com and its test captain. The new 430 SSC is the first outboard powered boat that Formula has built since 1986. It represents an important advancement in the concept of day boating because it incorporates all of the traditional entertaining venues of a large day boat cruiser with the water sports capabilities of a large sport boat. But with her hard top, impressive helm station, and surprisingly large accommodations below, the 430 SSC also serves as an express cruiser with bow seating. Designed with Formula's Smart Zone concept, the bow, helm deck, and cockpit are all on the same level, and there is nearly 40 linear feet of deck space. Now the swim platform measures 135 inches across, 55 inches front to back. The step is seven inches tall. This is plastic covering. There's cleats in each aft corner. These compartments pull up to get you to all your rigging. And on the front side, we've got this big fender trunk. The SUP board racks can fit in either of these two sockets in the deck. Now notice that if the motors have to be tilted forward, the rack has to come out of their aft slot and go in the forward one. Now the swim ladder drops right into this dedicated slot on the port side, and there's another one to starboard. In the trailing edge of the swim platform on the starboard side, an emergency boarding ladder pulls out. It has small steps that flip out to facilitate reboarding. Aft port, we have a speaker, all your utility connections, a fresh water shower, lift this hatch, all your battery switches, and then this is the hot ticket item. Connect the garden hose to that, you can flush all four motors with one hose. Now just ahead of the utility locker to port, the grill opens up, has this nice protective top, two control knobs. Across this lounge, has plenty of space for people to stretch out and two cup holders outboard on each side. In the passageway from the swim platform to the cockpit, there's a stereo remote, the gate that closes off the two foot wide opening, and a courtesy light. The aft lounge has convertible backrests, seating wraps all the way around to starboard and along the port side, and in just about every gunnel cutout on the boat, there's a USB port. To starboard, a power table comes up with the push of a button. The top is finished in plastic for easy cleanups and it's grippy so stuff doesn't slide off. Insert the filler cushions to create a lounge that's 6 feet 8 inches long and 4 feet 8 inches wide. Outboard to starboard, the bottom cushion is hinged and raises to access the storage. Work your way forward. We have the sunshade for the bow and dedicated racks for the stanchions. For a quick check of the mechanical systems including the generator, a hatch to port and the passageway to the stern opens on twin gas struts. For complete access to the generator, batteries, and other mechanical accessories, push a button at the dash and the entire aft seat structure raises with a power actuator. Overhead, the power sunroof opens to let in natural light. There are four shades for the hardtop sections, LED lights, and speakers. Now the power sunshade extends all the way aft over the swim platform. It's got six foot eight inches of headroom and it provides great protection from the sun or a quick shower. To port, the cockpit wet bar has two cup holders, plenty of counter space, and a slide away cover for the sink. The stainless steel drawer style refrigerator has good capacity and a small freezer tray. Fans of Formula Boats are familiar with the cockpit TV. It goes into this socket right here. And in this clever update, has all your connections, and the cushion is indented so it won't chafe the cables. To starboard, the helm has three individual seats with folding bolsters and power adjustable footrests. A Yeti cooler pulls out from under the seat on a slide. Cockpit galley storage includes a locker beneath the sink. Forward in the port gunnel, the aft compartment contains a blender, a fire extinguisher, and the handle for the automatic fire suppression system. Next, we have dedicated space for the cockpit TV and its accessories. Just ahead, a rope locker keeps all the dock lines at the ready. Working our way forward into the bow, the 20-inch wide passageway closes off with an opening section of the windshield and a lower acrylic air dam. Note the sturdy tie bar that connects the two latches. In the 430 SSC's bow, the seating wraps all the way around. This is 75 inches all the way across. You've got seating along the starboard side and then across the bow. There's fold-out cup holders in the armrest in the rear. Outboard. We've got the same rails and cup holders and uh, USB ports that we saw throughout the boat. There's plenty of speakers. The stereo remote controls the volume in four different sections of the boat, and the illuminated buttons raise and lower the two bow tables. They can be lowered and filled with cushions to create a protected playpen or tanning area. 
The 430 SSC comes standard with a bow sunshade. The stanchions insert right into the bow rail for easy installation. When the shade is not being used, four plugs insert into the rail. The Lumar windlass comes standard on the 430 SSC, and an optional towing eye is available if the boat will be used as a super yacht tender. Now let's head below decks and check out the 430 SSC's cabin. Now this tower to port in the 430 SSC's cabin controls the primary systems on board, air conditioning, stereo and your light switches, and the Raymarine GS95 and Vesselview 702 management system that complement the screen at the helm. There's a second charging port for the iPad in the aft cabin so the captain can keep an eye on the boat's systems at all times. The refrigerator can be set up to be a freezer or a refrigerator. It's your choice. Here we see the dinette with the table in the raised position. We expected the ability to lower the table and fill in the berth with cushions, but being able to fold up the hinged backrest to improve the legroom shows formula focuses on the details. The side windows have sliding shades with magnetic latches, and we saw the same style of shade for the skylight above the V-berth. Under these sliding hideaway covers, you've got the Kenyan stove, a sink, Keurig coffee maker. One thing that wouldn't be a bad idea is a raised fiddle rail around the edge to contain spills. Stemware and tumblers are in a dedicated showcase, and the 32-inch LCD TV is positioned for viewing from the dinette. Up aft the galley, the private head has full standing headroom, a pull-up shower, storage, a sink and accordion countertop, and a porcelain toilet beneath a fold-up seat. For easy cleanups, the area is all molded fiberglass. The aft cabin has a queen-size census memory foam mattress and a 32-inch LCD HD TV at the foot. Back out in the cockpit, an owner can choose among a variety of colors for the LED lights to set the appropriate mood for the evening. Like all Formula boats, the new 430 SSC comes with what the builder calls Formula Flex, which allows each owner to select the colors, upholstery styles, graphics, helm treatments, and hull colors to personalize the boat. Formula is one of the few builders in class to paint its boats, and that's what gives them the high gloss that has become a Formula signature statement. From her inviting bow to her extra-large cockpit and swim platform to the surprisingly spacious cabin, the Formula 430 SSC has something for everyone. That's our look at the new Formula 430 SSC. For BoatTest.com, I'm Eric Colby.